We're starting with logic. All the forms of computation that you might want to see have some sort of underlying math that they're actually doing. Python is doing some sort of math. It is just human readable, nice looking math. And your CPU is doing math as well. It is just math done by electricity. The underlying model that we're going to be looking at to start with is Boolean logic, ands, ors, nots, and so forth. When we have Boolean logic, we have these operators, or, and, not. Um, or is just a function. What is, a func what is th that function? Well, that is a function that maps bit strings of length 2 to 1 bit. So or is a function that takes two bits as input and gives one bit as output. And the way that it does that is to define or of a and b. That's going to be 0, provided that a and b are both 0. a is equal to b, which equals to 0. In any other situation, it's going to be 1. So it's going to be 1 otherwise. And is also a function that maps two bits to one bit. And the way that that one works is if we have and of a with b, that is going to be one in the case that both a and b were one, if a equals b, and, that is, and they are both one. And then it's going to be zero in all other circumstances. Who can tell me what not's going to be? Not is a function where, what is the type of input for not? Yes. Not is going to take one bit and map it to how many bits? One. Yeah, to one bit again. And the way that not works is we say not applied to A is going to give us one if A was zero and zero otherwise. So this is going to be our underlying math that we're going to use to build a couple of different models of computation. And what we're going to do is we're going to use and, or, and not in order to write some algorithms. And in particular, we're going to use and, or, and not to write an algorithm for this function majority. So majority will be one if most of three bits were one. The type of input for majority is three bits. And the type of output for majority is one bit. Order for sets doesn't matter, so ignore that. Don't let that confuse you, please. I don't know why I did it. So that is the type of majority. It is a function that maps three bits to one bit. And we want it to be true whenever at least two of those three bits were one. How would I compute majority with, let's say, math, with Boolean logic? So I want to compute the majority function on A, B, and C. So how would I do that? So basically, we have, let's say, three bits. So we have A, we have B, we have C. And to figure out whether or not at least two of them ended up being a one, what we could do is we could just look at, let's say, all of the possible pairs. And if we looked at all of the possible pairs and saw that in any of them, both were one, then that means that the majority were one. So what we can do is we can say our... A and B both one. How can we check if A and B are both one? And, and, yeah. So I can say, I can do and on A with B. And then let's just say that I know how to do ors on lots and lots of things. We haven't talked about that yet. We only have or operating on two things right now. But let's just pretend that we can do it on as many as we want for the moment. One option for how I could satisfy the majority is for A and B to both be one. Or it could have been that maybe B and C were both one. Or it could have been that A and C were both one. So that is how we can do an or on three things with only two things, is you have to split it up into two ors, where you have like a temporary variable or something in between. That's exactly what we're going to be doing next.